research. Hi, I'm Lisa Melandri. I am the executive director at CAM St. Louis, and it is my pleasure today to be with Casey Zavalia, who is really connected to CAM, not only as a former Great Rivers Biennial winner who did a beautiful exhibition um, in the space at CAM, but also somebody who has really been a visitor, someone who has been deeply involved with what we have shown, somebody who I personally have really loved talking to about the art at CAM and the art out in the world. So it's really nice to have you, Casey. Thank you so much for doing this with us. And we're going to go through a series of questions. You get to pass anything that you want to pass. And I'm going to start right away with things that we are all really interested in right now during this COVID stay at home order. And this has to do with your daily routine. So okay. the first thing I'm going to ask you is what's the first thing you read today? Oh, Instagram. <laughs> yes, totally. And um, have you been going out for walks? Yes. I try to go for a walk every day, um, which is part of my normal routine. Yep. And what's the most interesting you've, thing you've seen on those walks? It's not so much like what I'm seeing, it's what I'm hearing. So without the traffic noise, it's amazing. To, it's almost like nature has been ramped up, which has been beautiful. That's great. And do you have a particular like quarantine schedule, the hours that you're keeping? So my studio used to be, uh, my studio hours used to be from like 9 to 2.30 before I would start carpool. And I had to shift. I, I, I found myself like being annoyed that I wasn't in there at 9, but I just shifted it and said, I'm going to start around 12 or 1, and then I'll get like four good hours in the studio. Okay. And what, um, what are you reading right now? So you said the first thing you read today was Instagram, but what are you reading in general right now? Okay, Lisa, I'm not a reader, but I'm so glad I'm getting asked this question because right now I am reading a book. Um, it's the early years of Lucian Freud, the restless years, which I think came out like last year. Yeah, so it's really good. I Is it good? Is it? It's very good, yeah. Um, and I'm also reading Agnes Martin, the recent book on her, but I'm, I'm waning, so I'm not quite sure if I'll finish that book. Okay. It didn't, it didn't hold me. And this is kind of a more general uh, question, but that is, um, what is your, what's your favorite movie? Do you have a favorite movie, one that you go back to all the time? Life is Beautiful, and I just watched that with my 10-year-old the other night, and Cinema Paradiso, and then on repeat is Pride and Prejudice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And are you watching TV right now? What shows are you watching? Not a whole bunch of TV. Let me think. Uh, wait, I'm waiting too long. So pass. Okay. I'm going to move on to art. And obviously, are you making art right now? I am making art. I'm working on a giant six foot square verso embroidery. And is there anything specifically different about what you're making right now that has to do with being quarantined or, you know, in the time of COVID or is it the same as what you've been doing previous? It is the same, except I found myself kind of shopping my own studio. So I've got sequins and old brooches and things that are just like always sitting around that I'm too shy to include in the work. So I'm sewing those on with the idea that I can always cut them off in the end if I don't like it. And what would you, what do you miss about going to museums right now that everything is closed and how does that relate to your practice? I miss, actually I missed, and I'm looking forward to seeing the Malay show that's up at the St. Louis Art Museum. I went on the Flowers in Bloom weekend and I was just overwhelmed with people. And I just thought I'm gonna come back when it's quiet and I can take my time. And so I'm hoping that will still be up when this is over. Um, some COVID specific questions for you. Have you tried or picked up or thought about new hobbies right now? I'm thinking about going back to drawing. I've been looking and reading the drawing book by Vincent Van Gogh, and I was aware, obviously, of his paintings, but not the amount of drawings that he did. Mm -hmm. And so I've been like really delving into that book, and 
I love mark making more than I love the process to get to the mark making. And I didn't realize like some of his drawings, he would do a pencil sketch of the basic layout of the landscape and then have fun with all the mark making with the reed and ink on top of that. So I'm kind of thinking of like doing some portraits in that manner where I'm thinking about each mark as if it's the stitch, but it's also kind of emulating what he does with the, like a fountain pen. And what would you say is the most significant change um, in your life now that we're homebound? I don't have to do carpool, which is amazing. Um, the most significant, like, you mean like as it pertains to my art? Just your life. Oh, my life. Um, well, yes, I mean, carpool is for sure, carpool you know, is several hours of my day. So it's nice to get that time back. It's also nice to have a college age kid back in the home who is a vocal performance and art major. So I get to hear her practicing in the house, which is really nice. And just having everyone in the house together is nice. Um, do you think that you will spend more or less time on social media post pandemic? I'm actually trying to the studio hours. I'm actually taking it physically off my phone um, to make myself not be tempted to look at it. Um, and I think that's something that I think about now and even more so after it just needs to physically not be in my studio. And I'm talking more about Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Okay, some miscellaneous questions that will give us a view into sort of who you are. So the first one is Beyonce or Rihanna? Oh, the I, hard one. I would say neither. It's like Billie Holiday, Ella Fitzgerald. That's my people. <laughs> okay, um, do you have any hidden talents? Talents? Um, I mean, I'm going to pipe up and say you, you may not consider this a hidden talent, but I think you're a heck of a cook. I, I'm, a, I'm a serious baker. My cinnamon rolls are excellent. My blueberry muffins are excellent. And I did play the tambourine in my youth. <laughs> oh, I did not know that. That's very exciting. I actually took lessons and someone was like, how do you take lessons for tambourine? I was like, I don't know, but I did take them. So That's really good. Um, what's the place you want to go to next when all this is over? The place in I mean, throughout the world, you know? Oh, I would love to go uh, visit some friends in Australia. I'm hoping that the airline prices stay around $350 for a round trip to Sydney. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to go visit my friends there. Okay, and now I want to end bringing us back to St. Louis and okay. our sort of neighborhoods and what bar or restaurant are you most looking forward to visiting when this isolation period is over? I would love to sit at the bar at Sydney Street Cafe and have a date with my husband. And I would also love to have brunch with my kids at the Mud House. Where are you right now ordering either takeout or curbside from the most? I am not ordering any because I'm just so paranoid. So we're just baking everything at home and cooking. And I have four kids. So each of my kids takes a night to help cook in the kitchen. Oh, that's wonderful. That's yeah. really nice. That's a whole kind of ritual. That's Yeah, it's just like I feel like they need to learn to cook. And this is a great time to do that with them. Okay, and I'm gonna wrap it up with our last question, which is what St. Louis spot are you most excited going to post COVID? Well, like I said, I can't wait to see that Malay exhibit. And then it's just gonna be, instead of a pub crawl, it's gonna be start out at the Mud House, go to Sump Coffee, then go to Fiddlehead Fern Cafe, maybe Blueprint Coffee, and then brunch at Turn. <laughs> so, oh, and the Planner's House. I want to go to Planner's House. That's so, great. <laughs> yeah. That's wonderful. All right. Well, we've made it through. Extraordinary. That was okay, easy good. and so nice. And I have to say, I personally am very excited about the tambourine, Casey. That's something I never <laughs> ever knew about you. It's wonderful. I'm also really <laughs> excited that you're working on, you know, that you're continuing on these kind of really large scale works. We cannot wait to see what that looks like at the end of all of this. 
And thank you so much for doing this. We really, really appreciate it. This is Casey Zavalia, an absolutely extraordinary local artist here in St. Louis and somebody with whom it is always a pleasure to have a great conversation. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Bye. Bye.